What is the hardest mineral known to man? If you can answer this and a bunch of other questions, maybe you've got what it takes to... And here's your host, a man who asked Vanna White to turn the squares on Make the Grade, Lou Schneider. Thank you, Maria. Hello, everybody. You know, that's true. There's only a problem with getting the climbing gear so that you could get up that board. That was the only thing standing in our way. But in the meantime, we still have a, still have a great game. It's Make the Grade, a game that pits three bright kids in a battle to answer questions and win cash and big prizes. Before we take a look at the board and our subjects for today, let's meet our players. Hello, players. Hi, Hello, Lou. Good to see you guys. We have eighth graders here today. And at the red desk, it is Jason. Hi, Jason. Hi, Lou. Jason, you're a collector of sorts. What do you collect? Baseball cards. Baseball cards, big collection? Yeah. How many cards would you say? Over a thousand. Over a thousand? Yeah. Valuable collection? Yeah, pretty much. Are they old? Do you collect old cards or new Basically, cards? Basically, a lot of everything. A lot of everything? Yeah, current, old. Keep the gum? Yeah. Is the gum valuable? The longer Not you keep really. that gum, the harder to chew, the more valuable it is. That's what they say. No, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Good luck to you today, Jason. Next to you, it's Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lou. Jennifer, and you're not playing Make the Grade. What do you like to do most in the entire world? Shopping. I love to shop for clothes. For clothes. I was going to say, that was my next thing. Uh, you shop for clothes. Uh, you think you, there'd be any market for that Make the Grade t-shirt? Think anybody would buy that? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. She, she's like, Lou, don't ask me that. I'll get me in trouble, and I won't get to answer any of the questions. My buzzer will stop working. No, that's not true. Uh, good luck to you today, Jennifer. I hope you Thanks. enjoy it, and I hope maybe you'll win some cash here and uh, maybe take a big shopping spree after this one. Uh, good luck to you. Next year, we have Vidya. Hi, Vidya. Hi, Lou. Vidya enjoys music, is that right? Yeah, I do. What's your favorite kind of music and your favorite group? I don't like to limit myself to, like, one type of music, so I can listen to anything from Elton John to Cora. Well, that, that doesn't include classical and stuff like that, right? Yes, Cor sir. Oh, chorale, when you say choral. No, Cor Cora. Cora was the name of a group? Yeah. I see. Well, I've limited myself. I don't know who Cora is. What kind of music? Uh, is it a group or a person? It's a person. A person. I bet there are people out there going, he doesn't know who Cora is? Are you guys out there saying that? You are, aren't you? I know you are. I'm sorry. Write in and tell me. I didn't know. I had no idea. Anyway, video. Good luck. Enjoy music. It's one of the great pleasures in life. But this is the greatest pleasure in life. Let me explain how it works. Look up at our board. We see we have seven grade levels and seven subjects. And the subjects for today are math. Geography, history, science, home ec, current events, and the elective category for today is comics. And we'll deal with that when it comes up. You'll hear more about that. In order to win our game and advance to the honors round, you must answer at least one question in every grade level and one in each subject. And if you're the first, you can do it in any pattern you like, be it diagonally or randomly or in a row, straight across or up and down. All right? First person to do it wins $500. Then you go to the honors round with a chance to pick up another $600 in prize money plus a great grand prize. Uh, along the way, there are fire drills up there in the wild card squares, and the fire drills can change the course of the game at any moment, so kind of be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, let's see, uh, Jennifer, you won the right to go first. Pick a square, get us started, and make the grade. Math elementary. First question of the game. Good luck, everybody. What is the smallest number of coins needed to make 17 cents? Jennifer. 17 pennies. Nope. What is the smallest number of coins needed to make 17 cents? Vidya. Four. Four, exactly. A dime, a nickel, and two pennies would be the smallest number. Go ahead, video. Um, science, 12th grade. Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code is an acronym for what computer language? Video. Basic. Basic is right. Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code is basic. Okay, go ahead, video. Um, geography, 7th. What country contains 20% of the world's population? Jason. Asia. No. Jennifer and Vidya. What country contains 20% Vidya? I mean, excuse me, Jennifer. North America. No, that's incorrect. Vidya, what country contains 20% of the world's population? Um, Canada. No, that's not right. China. China has one-fifth of the world's population. It's amazing to me. Okay, go ahead, Vidya. Um, history 8th. History A. Eh? That is a take. Okay, Vidya, you take one of your opponent's squares, but there are no opponent's uh, squares up there, so uh, you're in good shape, but you, nothing happens there. Go ahead, Vidya. History ninth. 
first question in that category what piece of real estate did peter menu it by for twenty four dollars worth of trinkets jennifer manhattan manhattan it's a good shopping question right jennifer there you go go ahead jennifer um science for tenth grade science for tenth Oh, that's a lose. I know. All right, Jennifer, you have to give back one of your squares, and uh, there's the only the Peter Minuit question to come off. Okay, go ahead, Jennifer. History, ninth grade. History, ninth grade. And that is, what famous rock festival shares its name with Snoopy's Bird Pal? Jennifer. Woodstock. Woodstock is the correct answer there. Go ahead, Jennifer. Um... Science for 10th grade. What is the hardest mineral known to man? Jennifer. Diamond. Diamonds. Often called a girl's best friend. Go ahead, Jennifer. Home economics for 11th grade. Home ec, 11th grade. Name the woman public television, oh, excuse me. Name the woman public television calls the French chef. Jason. Julia Child. Oh, Julia Child is absolutely right. <laughs> Go ahead, Jason. Can I have comics for 12th? Comics for 12. All right, and this, this category covers the world of comic strips. Players, what comic strip character made the phrase Leapin' Lizards popular? Jason. Dennis the Menace? No. What comic strip character made the phrase Jennifer? Annie. That's correct. Little Orphan Annie is right. She used to roll those eyes back, give you a little of this, and bang, it was Leapin' Lizards. Current of There it is. Boy, I, I look almost exactly like her when I do that. Go ahead, Jennifer. Current events for elementary. First question in the category. Bull is the bailiff on Jason. Night Court. Night Court on what TV show? Night Court is indeed the answer. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, math for seventh. Math seven. Okay, that is a fire drill. All right. Okay, this is something we call Trash the Lab. They won't let you do this in school, but we encourage it here. Here's what happens. You're going to pick up those balls out of the uh, bins in front of you. You're going to fire them at the flasks that you see stacked up in, on the platforms in front of you. The first person who can either knock down or knock, knock over or knock off all the, all the Earl Meyer flasks filled with the corresponding colors is the winner, okay? Uh, they don't have to fall off completely, just as long as you've knocked them all down. Some of them are gonna be off, believe me. Uh, first person to do it is our winner. The other two people must compete for second and third places, so keep on competing until you hear me say stop. When we're finished, stay right where you are, and I'll move you back into position, okay? On your mark, get set, go! Fire away! There we go. There we go. Things are flying. There we go. Going after the bottom row now, in the red. There we go. Knock him over. There we go. Good battle here. Oh, it could be anybody's game. Anybody's game at this point. Keep knocking him over. There we go. There's our... There we go. Stop right there. Okay. Here's my winner. Video, where are you going? Green. Going to green. Jason, you were second place. Where are you going? Uh, red. Okay. You're going to blue, Jennifer. Maria! The head chemist of Trash the Lab is Vidya, who goes from blue to green. Jennifer goes from green to blue, and Jason returns to red. Good fire drill for Vidya there, firing those balls at the Earl Meyer flasks. And she has won our fire drill. She improves her position a little bit, moves herself over to the green desk, and now she controls the board. Go ahead, Vidya. Home economics, eighth grade. Home ec, eighth. Ooh, lose a square. Vidya, you have to give up one of those squares you just acquired. Which one History is History ninth. History ninth. That comes off the board. That goes up as a square again. And a question. Go ahead, Vidya. History ninth. Okay. On what date of the year is May Day celebrated? Jason. May 1st. May 1st. That's how they got the whole idea. Uh, go ahead, Jason. Geography, 10th grade. Uh, here we go. Corfu, Samothrake, and Crete are islands in what country? Jason. Italy. No. I'll read it again for Vidya and Jennifer. Corfu, Samothraki, and Crete are islands in what country? It's not Italy. You know that. Greece. Those are Greek islands. Beautiful places. Okay, go ahead. Uh, let's see, Jason. Uh, science, seventh grade. What harsh noise? Uh, hmm, harsh noise. What harsh noise occurs when air vibrates against Jason? A snore. 
Snoring is absolutely right. Good for you. I'll read the whole question again for our audience at home. What harsh noise occurs when air vibrates against the back of a sleeper's mouth? We don't have a term for that. That's the ex that's the end of the round, players uh, and people at home. We'll be right back to see who wins round two and go to the go to the honors round right after these words. So come right back. We're back for round two. We have a great game going here at the Red Death. Jason is our leader. He has four grade levels and four subjects, and he is just ahead of Vidya at the green and Jennifer at the blue, who are tied with two subjects and two grade levels apiece. But we are here for round two where there are lots more questions, and a fire drill lurks on that board somewhere, so anything can happen. I should also remind our players that if no one has completed their scoreboard, as time in round two expires, the player who has come closest to doing that will be declared our champion, win $500, then go to the honors round with a chance at another $600 in prize money and a great grand prize. But that's a long way down the road. In the meantime, Jason, you had the last correct response. Pick a square and get us started here in round two. Can I have comics for 10th? Comics for 10th, and that is a fire drill. All right, move out, everybody. And the way it works is on my signal, you guys will begin taking balls out of the bins that you see in front of you. You'll toss them toward the moons that lie out in front of you that correspond to your colors. First person who can get two balls to stay in those cylindrical, uh, in those cylindrical chambers will be the winner. The other two people must compete for second and third places. When we're all finished, stay right where you are, and I will move you back into position, okay? All right, stay behind the line as you throw these things. On your mark, get set, go! There we go, nice shot. Oh boy, green and red, looking good right off the bat. Real tight game, stay behind the line. Behind the line. Let's go, everybody's doing pretty well, looking for a score in the blue. Green or red, very close, either one of them. Next ball in for green or red is a winner. Ooh, in and out. In and out. Oh. Oh, in and out again. Everybody's tied now, everyone is tied. Next ball in is our winner. It's gonna come right down to the wire here. Little back spin maybe. There we go, there's our winner right there. Two, there, stop right there, okay. Here's our winner, where are you going, Jason? Look back at the to red. Board. Back to the red. Okay, Jennifer, you are second person. Where are you going? Back to the green. Okay, back to the, and back to the blue for you, Maria. Lunar Lob was pelted by Jason, who returns to red. Jennifer goes from blue to green, and Vidya goes from green to blue. Okay, good fire drill for Jason there at that point. Uh, as I said at the top of the round, Jason was in first place. Fire drill came right up. He won the fire drill, ensured his position at, uh, for the time being at uh, the red desk, and he also controls the board. So go ahead, Jason. Uh, could I have math for eighth? Math for eighth. Here we are. If there are 90 feet between bases, how many feet do you run if you hit a baseball double? Jason. 180. 180 feet is absolutely right. Good job. Go, Jason. Could I have comics for 10th? Comics for 10th in the elective category. In the, in the Kathy comics, name Kathy's boyfriend. You know this comic strip? Jason. Roger? No, Roger's wrong. Uh, I will accept it from video or Jennifer. Either of you know this? Kathy? Video? Eugene? Eugene is wrong. Uh, Jennifer? Michael? No, Michael is wrong, too. Uh, the guy's name is Irving. Irving is uh, Kathy's boyfriend. Okay, let's see. Jason, go ahead. Geography for 12th. Geography 12th. Name one of the two continents with marshy, treeless plains called the tundra. Jason. Greenland. Incorrect. Jennifer or Vidya? Uh, yes, Vidya. Africa. Africa is incorrect. Jennifer, I'll read the question. Name one of the two continents with marshy, treeless plains called the tundra. North like America? North America, I will accept. It does include uh, at the very top of it, but it's, uh, yes, that's right. Asia or uh, North America would have uh, tundra. Go ahead, Jennifer. Um, history, seventh grade. Who was the first United States president to be assassinated, Jennifer? Lincoln. Lincoln is right. Abraham Lincoln was the first to be assassinated. 
Go, Jennifer. Um, home economics for eighth grade. Home ec. Which cooks food fastest? A convection oven, a microwave. Jennifer? A microwave. A microwave cooks food the fastest, or a grill. A microwave, real fast. Good, Jennifer, you're on a roll. Um, current events for ninth grade. Current events ninth. What nation does Nobel Prize winner Bishop Desmond Tutu come from? Jennifer? Africa. Uh, that's not correct. No. Uh, Vidya or Jason, what nation does Nobel Prize winner Bishop Desmond Tutu come from? Vidya? France. Incorrect. Jason? Switzerland. No, that's not right. Africa was the closest to those. South Africa. Different. Africa is a huge continent, but I needed South Africa as the country name. Okay, uh, let's see. Jennifer, you have the last correct response. Go. I'll have current events for 11th grade. Current events, 11th grade, and that is a take. All right, that's going to help you out there, Jennifer. You I'll take, take one of your opponent's squares. 12th grade comics. 12th grade comics? That, oh, that's mine. No, you um, can't do that. That's yours. Um, I'll take 8th grade math. 8th grade math? That belongs to Jason. That is fine. Take that. That goes to you. And uh, you are still in control here. I'll take current events 11. What former first lady recently wrote a book entitled Vidya? Nancy Reagan. Nancy Reagan. And in fact, the book is entitled Vidya. No, it's entitled My Turn. Nice job. Good for you. Go ahead, Vidya. Um, geography, eighth. Copenhagen is the capital of what country? Jason. Switzerland. Nope. Jennifer, Vidya, Copenhagen is the capital of what country? Jennifer? Germany. No. Nope. Vidya, do you know this one? Switzerland? No. <laughs> nope. Still, still wrong. Oh, they just changed it over. It is now the capital of Switzerland. No, it's the capital of Denmark. Has been for a while. Continues to be right up to the minute. Go ahead, Vidya. Um, history for eighth. Julius Caesar courted what famous Egyptian queen? Jennifer. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. That's in fact correct. Excuse me. Go ahead, Jennifer. Um. Ninth grade geography. Ninth grade geography. What river links the Great Lakes with the Atlantic? Jennifer. St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence is absolutely right. The St. Lawrence Seaway. Very well done, Jennifer. Go ahead. Um, elementary um, history. Who was the last vice president to become president? Jo uh, Jason. Um, George Bush. George Bush is right. Well done. You started to outthink yourself. Good job there, Jason. Science Elementary. Science Elementary. Chameleons are lizards best known for Jason. Changing, no, uh, living in water. Incorrect. Jennifer and Vidya. Chameleons are lizards best known for changing what? Jennifer. Color. Changing colors, or the colors of their skin. Uh, go ahead, Jennifer. Current events, seventh. Marla Maples has been romantically linked to Jason. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. To what billionaire? Donald Trump. Go ahead, Jason. Comic Elementary. Comics Elementary. OK. That is a loser square. All right, Jason, you have to give up one of your squares. Which is it going to be? Current events for elementary. Current events elementary. We'll go back on the board. OK, Jason, go. Current events. Don't go anywhere. That is the time. And the buzzer has sounded. The winner at the green desk is Jennifer. All right, Jennifer. For your efforts so far, you've won $500, but now you're going to the honors round with a chance to pick up another $600 in prize money plus a great grand prize. But we're not going to get to that just yet. Before we do that, we have to say goodbye to your runners-up. Vidya and Jason, great jobs today. Thanks for playing. We enjoyed having you. We don't send you home empty-handed. We have $50 for each of you as well as these terrific consolation prizes. Tell us about those right now, Maria. Okay, Lou. Each of our contestants received British Knights. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BKs. British Knights, athletic footwear for guys and gals. Brighten your days in a pair of BKs. British Knights, the right move for you. 
And our runners-up receive Sasan Swimwear. The hottest looks in swimwear comes from Sasan. At the pool or on the beach, Sasan Swimwear for girls and boys makes a splash. And new poppin' soda popping candy. It'll tickle your tongue and pop your top. The soda can candy that's a blast to eat. Poppin' soda, yours from Make the Grade. Back to you, Lou. Okay, we'll be right back with Jennifer to see if she can pass the honors round and maybe go home with another $600 and a great grand prize right after these important words. Okay. Okay, congratulations, Jennifer. You've done a great job. Here you are in the honors round. You have a chance to win a lot more money and a great prize. Here's how it works. We have three categories. You're going to choose one of them. In 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. Your choices for today are birds, fruits and vegetables, or colors. Which one would you like? Colors. Okay, we divided colors into seven different subject questions. You get all the subject questions correct. You get $600 plus this great grand prize. Tell us about that now, Maria. Jennifer will be flying you to Universal Studios, Florida, home of Nickelodeon Studios, where you can ride the movies. Live the action of blockbuster movies, the largest motion picture and television studio outside of Hollywood. And you'll be staying at the Orlando Marriott, just minutes away from world-renowned attractions. It has it all, with 16 villa-style buildings, pools, tennis courts, and restaurants. Once you're here, you may not want to leave. Good luck. Okay, the 45 seconds won't start until I finish reading the first question. Box this kid's head. Here we go. English. Hans Christian Andersen wrote a story about what color shoes? Red. Right. Geography. What park was established as the nation's first national park? Yellowstone. Right. History. The bubonic plague of the 1300s is also called the what death? Purple. Incorrect. Homek, what is the two-color name for a milkshake with vanilla and chocolate ice cream? Chocolate vanilla shake. Incorrect. Music, the Beatles sang about what color submarine? Yellow submarine. Right. Phys Ed, name Wisconsin's only NFL pro football team? Red Giants. Incorrect. Science, what kind of wasp is black and yellow? Yellow jacket. Right, that's correct. History. Oh, you got four right out of the seven. That's $400. 500 from the first part of the game. That's $900 total. That was great. The questions you didn't get right. The black death is the plague. And uh, the two-color milkshake, you said chocolate vanilla, black and white. We were looking for colors there. And Green Bay Packers, Green Bay. That was what we were looking for. That was the Wisconsin Pro Football Team, the NFL team. You did a great job. We had fun having you here today. But you, you also won which is terrific. So thanks for playing. We had fun having you. Hope you had fun having us. Hope you had fun out there. Join us next time for more Make the Grade. Bye, everybody. This is your announcer, Maria Melito. Hey, Lou, I had so much fun today. I'll let you off the hook. See you next time.